Hi, Nuri. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm okay, thank you. How, how, how about you? I'm okay. How was your weekend? As always, working. Well, that's good. Cerrame la puerta. Yes. And you, teacher? Um, same. Everything good. Everything good. Okay. All right. Let me check one thing. Okay. It's a raining in, in Lourdes in this moment. Yes, teacher. A little bit. Hold on, let me see one thing here. Okay, there you go. Hey, hi, Omi. Good evening. How are you? Good. I'm okay, thank you. Are you are you in a bus? Yes, of course, teacher. I'm in the bus right now. Okay, good. Is it raining? No, teacher. It's only a traffic jam. Oh yeah, there's traffic jams still at eight in the at night. Yeah, of course, in Nochorro. Yes. Oh man. It was boring. <laughs> Confused and to uh, in the in this way out all every day. Oh man. Do you do you work where, where do you work in, in, in um in Antigua, like in Plan de la Laguna or in, in downtown in, in the center of Antigua? Yeah, of course, uh, in Antigua, Coca-Cola, Plan de la Laguna. Oh, in Plan de la Laguna? Near, mm -hmm. what is the name of that park? Um, there's a beautiful park. Yeah, beautiful park. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. ¿Cómo se llama el parque? Jardín Botánico. Jardín Botánico. That's very beautiful. Yeah, of course. I need to go there and take pictures. Yeah. Hello, Marielos. Welcome. Welcome, Hello, Oscar. Good evening. <laughs> How was your week? Are you working? Not today. <laughs> Finally. How was your weekend? Fine, thanks. A long weekend, but <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> All right. Hold on, please. I was reading that, I don't know if this is good or not, but I was reading that the government, they want to give the pension in Bitcoin. They're thinking about it. Have you seen that? Oh yeah, you don't watch the news. <laughs> I, I, I forgot this. <laughs> <laughs> I hear about that teacher. Yeah, I don't know if that's good or not. It has good, it has pros and cons. 
But that, that's going to be a little strange. Because I think people that invest in Bitcoin, now is the time to buy. Because it's very, very, very low. So now is the time. I have a friend. When I worked in Google, I had friends that like 10 years ago, they bought in Bitcoin when I didn't know what Bitcoin was. And they always bought in Bitcoin, always. And um, they always buy when it's low. So I did that one time. Well, two times. I bought $50 in Bitcoin. And I wait, wait. And one time it went up $8. So I went to the supermarket. <laughs> and I spent exactly $58. So. Eight dollars is eight dollars. Yes. Yeah. But next time I did it with twenty dollars, I'm going to do that with fifteen, twenty, fifteen, twenty. Maybe. All right. How was your weekend, Miguel Franco? Hey, hello, teacher. How are you? I'm cool. And you? Good. But, but this weekend was a little wet, as as always. Uh, okay, I, I spend my time almost in, in at home. But has it been raining a lot near your house? Yes, it was raining a lot. By my house, it has. It, it was raining like ten minutes ago, but it, it only rains ten minutes, and then that's it. No, here it was raining uh, uh, yesterday all afternoon. Rain is uh, uh, slow, and then rain very, very, very hard. Um, did anybody go to the Carol G concert? No. My daughter, my daughter did. What time she did went. what time did she get home? 2 30. <laughs> 2 30. Wow. Uh -huh. Did she like it? Yes, she did like it. She's Scream, scream, that. Mm -hmm. you, you know what, I think where, where I live, I think like I'm, I live maybe five minutes from Estadio Cuscatlan. You hear every concert. No, Thank but you? that's the ironic thing. I don't hear the concerts from Estadio Cuscatlan. I hear the concerts from El Magico. Uh, how come? <laughs> I don't know physics. I don't know how physics works there, but or maybe the Mexico has a better acoustic, because I live I live near El Paso del Jaguar. Uh huh. So I am very very close to El El, El Cuscatlan Stadium, but you don't I don't hear the noise, but Mexico Gonzalez when there are concerts there you can hear them. My wife gets angry because like years ago she wanted to go see uh, Vicente Fernandez. Not uh -huh. this time. This time, no, like five years ago. And I said, why? We can listen to it from our room. Like a, pri <laughs> a private concert. Yes, we hear, we heard um, Mark Anthony, Luis Miguel, <laughs> all the concerts live. <laughs> Without paying a name. Uh -huh, for free. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, fun. Kalena, how was your weekend? Hello. Um, Are you on break? Was... What? Are you on that week break that the Ministerio is giving? No, no, no. Uh, for, uh, for us, it's not applied. And, that, for... and that's only for public schools, right? Or for all? Maybe. Because my niece, yeah. they're studying Guadalupano and they're not going. I think uh, it doesn't apply uh, to our school because it's an international system. Yes, and we all almost uh, finished the the year. You you finish in September, no? No, right now this is our last week. Oh, really? Yes. And so you're going to have three months vacation? No, just 
one month and two weeks, I think so. In August 10, we're going to get back. But still, one month and a half, nobody has okay. that. <laughs> I want to sleep all day long. Yeah, for me, for me, that's the perfect vacation. Every time I have a vacation, I always try to ask for my vacation when everybody's working because I don't like vacations in Christmas or anything because remember I told you that when there's vacation, I have to do everything. So like, I like to have my days off when everybody's working because I love to sit in the sofa and watch TV all day. For me, that's the perfect, like, you know, not take a shower until 5 p.m. Almost the same for me. Yes. You know, don't take a I shower rest, until late. Yeah. Don't cook and order food. <laughs> yeah. All right. So welcome. Okay, let's start. So this is the last week. Let me see where we are. I remember, um, remember we, we, we were going to do tag questions? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. El viernes hicimos tag questions, but yes. remember tag question is el, el salvadoreño, yeah. So tag question, you ask when you're not sure. It's not a direct question. It's that you're not, you think you know the answer, but you're not sure. Um, Galena, is Oscar married? Do you remember? Ah, good, you don't, you don't remember, good. Good, you don't remember, right? But you can, okay, so in this case, but if you want to ask him, you ask him with a tag question. Do you think he's married or do you think he's not married? What do you remember? I think he's not married. He's not married. Okay, but are you sure? No, not sure. No. Okay, very good. So if you're not sure, how do you start, negative or positive? Uh, positive. No, you start negative because you're not sure. Oh. Okay. So you say like this, Oscar, but I uh, necesitamos personaje, character. Oscar, you are not married. Are you? Are you? Mm -hmm. Are you? Negative statement. If you notice, you are not married is not a question. It's a statement. Mm -hmm. It's an affirmation. In this case, it's a negative affirmation. And you finish with a short, simple, affirmative or a positive or negative question. So that is a tag question. If the affirmation is negative, the question is positive or vice versa. So in this case, Galena, she doesn't really remember, but she's asking because Oscar has talked about his personal life. So Galena can say, Oscar, I don't know. But I don't think he's married. So, uh, Oscar, you're not married, are you? No, no, I'm not married. Okay, very good. You see, that is a tag question. It's just how sure you are or how sure you're not. Now, if you're more positive that he's not, how do you start? That he is. Imagine, yes, no, okay, he is. No, <laughs> so if you're not sure, how do you ask? Oscar, are you married? No, remember, you have to start with a statement. So, uh, are you married, Oscar? Are you married is a question. You have to, you start, Oscar, you are married. Oscar, are you married? No, Oscar, you are married, aren't you? Oscar, you are married. Aren't you? All right. Oh, okay. Aren't or art? Okay, In no. This case. 
is because I ask in the positive. Okay, good. Oscar has a question. In this case, he said aren't or are. What is the correct? Aren't because I ask in positive. Uh -huh. That that question is negative. Yes. In this case, Oscar is aren't because, like Elena said, she said because the the statement or the affirmation was positive. She said, Oscar, you are married. Aren't you? Oscar, you are not married. Are you? Okay. Let me see. Who needs who needs advice on beauty on be, on beauty tips? Do you know what a tip is? Tip. Yeah. What is a tip? A tip is like a recommendation. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, let me see, Mirna. Hello, teacher. Hi, Mirna. You need a tip about your hair. Who do you ask in the class that you remember that maybe you're not really sure, but who are you going to ask in the class? I don't know how to ask, teacher. Not how to ask. Who are you going to ask? Remember? You need tips. You, you need like information about hair, products. Who are you going to ask? Are you going to ask Miguel? No. No, maybe a, a partner girl. Uh, okay. <laughs> Who should she ask, class? Who can help her? I think Nuri. it's Nuri. 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 Okay, Nuri. Entonces, pregunta, Nuri, usted trabaja en una sala de belleza, ¿verdad? Ask Nuri. Ask, ask, okay, um, Marielos, ask the tag question to Nuri. Okay. Uh, Nuri, you work for, you work in a beauty salon. Do you? Don't you? Don't you? Sorry. Thank you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I like this because she said, Nuri, you work in a beauty salon, don't you? Because she was 99% sure, but not 100%, but she was very, very sure that Nuri works in a beauty salon. Entonces, empezó affirmative. Nuri? You work in a beauty salon, don't you? Y si lo quiere decir en salvadoreño, Marielos, ¿cómo sería? <laughs> Nuri, usted trabaja en un salón de belleza, ¿verdad? Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. O también puede decir, Nuri, usted trabaja en una sala de belleza, ¿no? Usted no trabaja en una sala de belleza, ¿sí? Y también en español es al revés. <laughs> All right, you see Mirna, you understand now? Yes, teacher. All right. Let me see, let me see. Very good, Marielos, thank you. Thanks. Uh, da, 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 teacher, da, da. I, ha I have a question. Sure. What is the tag ending for uh, I do? The uh, uh, statement with I do. Good question. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. You use do when there's a verb. Mm -hmm. You work, you don't work. Mm -hmm. You eat, you don't eat. Mm -hmm. You run, I'm, you don't run. So every time you, you use a verb, you use do. Okay, I'm asking this, I, I knew that, but in the platform there is a, uh, there is one question that it doesn't work. I, I have okay. answered. We will see it. I, but... <laughs> no worries. We will see it. Now, okay. when do we use are you and do you? So when do we use are you or aren't you? 
when it's an adjective. Mm -hmm. Like Elena, she asked Oscar, Oscar, you are married, aren't you? So very remember, when we use adjectives, we use are, is and are, the auxiliaries, correct? Mm -hmm. You are married, she is married, he is married. When we use a verb, the auxiliary is do. You know, piensen. Oigan esto. Do you work? Do mm -hmm. you run? Do you eat? No podemos decir, do you married? Mm -hmm. All right. So there we say, are you married? All right. Hey, I thought I saw you. Oh, hi, Ivania. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. How was your weekend? Good, teacher. Working. Did you go to the Carol G concert? No. No. I worked today. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. So let's do this. Okay, now, if you don't understand right now, it's okay, because this is practice. But I do need to know if you understand, if you have the idea. Do you have the idea of what is a tag question? Yes. Yes, teacher. I, I have a question, teacher, about this. We can use that question in past. For example, yes. oh, you, yeah. worked, you, you worked yesterday, didn't you? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Correct. Imagine, imagine uh, you, Oscar. Where did you study? High school or university? Where? In Universidad del Salvador. I'm when, how long ago? No, I'm studying right now. Oh, okay. Do you remember uh, high school? Yes. How long? When did you graduate? In 2004. 2004. 2004, so almost well, eight years. Yes, yes a little. Where, where did you study high school? In Liceo Cristiano. Okay, so imagine you are in, I don't know, you are in Metro Centro, and you see this man, he's very familiar to you. Hey, se parece Chepe Torta. <laughs> You know, you know, like, but you're not sure because it's been eight years. Yeah, so you're like, man, maybe he's fatter. Maybe he doesn't have hair. You know, he's that's chipe torta. No, yeah. So you go to him. Hey, you studied in Liceo Cristiano, didn't you? Yeah, yes, I did. What is your name? Jose, you're Chepe Torta, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, it's me. Yes, it's a very good question. Yes, you can ask him past. Okay. All right. This happens to me frequently because imagine I've been teaching for 20 years. I imagine to Kalena this could happen too. That, I don't know, in five years suddenly a student sees you and says hey you were my teacher weren't you you go maybe i don't remember but you know in my case it's sometimes it's very difficult because so many people especially when i'm saying like oh it was in el 2000 oh man i don't remember. okay maybe yes okay so very good question let's let's watch the video now about what is uh What is uh, tag questions? Let me see. Relevant tag questions. Can you hear? Yes. Yes, thank you. Use negative yeah. questions or tough questions to of Don't you think learning English is easy? Let's go over negative and tough questions for giving opinion. 
negative and tough questions for giving opinions. Use negative questions or tough questions to offer an opinion and invite someone to react. Isn't it weird how some people are always on their cell phones? Doesn't it seem like kids spend too much time in front of the TV? Wouldn't it be great if everyone had a cell phone like that? Shouldn't the government limit the number of sites? I get email on my cell phone. That's nice, isn't it? TV makes kids lazy, doesn't it? Use the phrase, don't you think, to form negative or tough questions. Don't you think there are too many websites? It's actually dangerous, don't you think? Negative and tough questions for giving opinions. A tough question is a question added at the end of the sentence. Tough questions are used to make sure there is agreement with one's opinion or to make sure information is correct. That was a great restaurant, wasn't it? The post office is next to the bank, isn't it? The post office isn't next to the bank, is it? The verb in the tough question is negative if the first verb in the sentence is affirmative, and affirmative if the first verb is negative. Ta questions have falling intonation when the speaker expects the listeners to agree. They have rising intonation when the speaker wants to express uncertainty. Negative questions are also used to seek agreement with an opinion. Read the following vowels, agree or disagree with these opinions. Okay. Let's do one more time. Helena, can you ask the same question to Oscar? The, at the beginning. Um, Oscar, you're not married, are you? Very good. I, li I, like, I like your style too, because that's how you ask a tag question. Like, you're not married, are you? Very good. Marielos. Yeah. Can you yes. ask Nuri the, the same question? Uh, Nuri, you work in a beauty salon, don't you? All right. All right, okay. Okay. Um, remember one thing. Uh, what is one thing that you know about Marvin, Ivania? Um, he worked in a, like a company that helps uh, kids. Okay. He's a Mormon, no? Don't you? I remember he's a Christian, but I don't remember what religion. So I will ask Marvin... No. Oh, so look, this is me hablando yo solo. I remember Marvin says he liked Christian music. He is Christian, but he didn't mention a, he didn't mention a religion. Or did he? Marvin, no, no, Mormon. Mar, Marvin, you're not a Mormon, are you? Marvin? Sorry, are Hi, you Marvin. asking me? Yeah, you're not yeah. a Mormon, are you? I am not. Okay, you're not. But you are a Christian. Yes, I am. All right, cool. Okay, so now I want you to practice por lo poco que nos sabemos uno del otro, right? So Marvin, ask somebody in the class, please. A tag question. Okay. Um, let me see, uh, Nuri, Nuri, mm -hmm. Nuri, uh, do you work on weekends? Do you? Yes, I do. What is that correct, Miguel? Is the question correct? Yeah. 
you're in mute. So uh, mute. Uh, the question or the answer? Is... No, the answer is the answer is very easy. Yes, I do. <laughs> no, the question. Um, I, I didn't listen to the question. Okay, Oscar, is the question correct? Um, I don't know if I'm short about the question. Okay, Luis, he is said, the question correct? He said, do you work on the weekend, don't you? Do you work? No, it's incorrect. It's, a, mm -hmm. it's incorrect. In the correct is, um, you work on weekends, uh, don't you? Exactly. Marvin, remember, it's a statement and a question. Okay. When you say, do you work on the weekends? That's a question. So, quitemos el do. You work on the weekends, don't you? Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Nuri, your turn. Ask somebody, please. Okay. Uh, oh, me. Okay. You are traveling by bus, aren't you? Excellent. I like that person continues. Yes, sir. I am. Excellent. Cool, Omi. Your turn, Omi. Ask somebody. Okay, let's suppose. Uh, let me see who. Luis? Yes. Okay, let's, let's suppose uh, we, ha uh, we are in the mountain. That's what they imagine. Um, Luis, uh, are you in the Mountain, don't you? Oh. You, you are you are in the mountain, don't you? Are you? Omi, listen to your auxiliary. You said you are in a mountain. You are. You are in the mountain, aren't you? Excellent. Yeah, yes, yes, I am. Very good, Luis. Cool. Okay. Y eso, lo más fácil de eso es la respuesta. Yes, no, yes, no. The question is more difficult. All right, cool, good Omi. Okay, Luis, ask somebody, except Omi, except Nuri. And Marvin. Okay, Roxana Mendoza. Okay, tell me. Okay, are you, uh, are you a doctor, aren't you? No. 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 Okay, todos estamos haciendo el mismo error. Remember, a tag question is a affirmation and a question. Luis, si usted dice, are you a doctor? De entrada es pregunta. Hijo. <laughs> so you don't you need to ask. You are a doctor? Uh -huh. you? Yeah, I mean, ahí ya no necesitan preguntar oh. más. You, are you a doctor? Tell me again, Luis. Yeah, Luis, repeat. Okay, uh, let me check. Um, uh, she, she, maybe a, a teacher, she's a doctor, is a correct. She's a doctor. You are, uh, she, yeah, yes, but, but she's ask. a doctor, isn't he? Is, isn't, isn't she? Isn't she? Isn't Excellent, she? yes. But ask Roxana. Uh, Roxana. If Marvin Calix, Marvin Calix, he's a doctor, isn't he? Uh, no, he isn't. Or... No, he isn't. Very. I don't good. know. <laughs> no, he okay. is. No good. I don't know. No, he is. Maybe he's not. Very good. All right, Luis. Only one observation. Okay. When you say Marvin Calix, you don't need to say he. Okay. So yeah. Marvin Calix is a doctor, isn't he? Marvin, isn't he? Okay. So 
you don't need to say Marvin Collins. He is a doctor, isn't he? All right. Okay. So, okay, good. Um, Roxana, your turn. Okay, Guadalupe, Sunia. Mio. Hello. Hello. Um, Who is Guadalupe? You are... <laughs> I've never seen her. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hi. Hi. Uh, you run every day, uh, don't you? Um, no, I don't. I don't. Okay, good. All right. Good. Thank you, Roxana. Okay, Guadalupe, your turn. Uh, I don't know who, teacher. Excuse me? I don't know who. Let me give you an option. You have Miguel, you have Ivania, Mirna, and Kalena. Uh, Mirna. Okay. okay. Mirna, uh, excuse me, how do you say? Uh, uh, Mirna, the... Subterráneo. No. <laughs> No, no. Underground, <laughs> underground. Olvide, olvide, como se dice, como preguntar, perdón. Class, how do you make a, a, a tag question? You say one, one sentence and in question after. All right. Sorry, I don't listen. Pete Marina? Uh, you say one one sentence and after that you you may a uh, question. Ah uh, Mirna did you uh, did you uh, no help me teacher is my first participation. Yes, why? Uh, because it's very uh, stress, stressful my work and I can connect in every day. So today's your first class? No, 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 no. My participation yes. is with, the, the, with the question. No, yes, I understand. Um, Okay, but no, it's okay, Anders. So, like the examples, um, the everything you have to start with a statement, mm -hmm. positive or negative, and you finish with a short question. For example, let me give you an example. El Magico Gonzalez. Mm. Uh, wait, no, no, says I saw again. Magico Gonzalez. Bono. Do you know Bono? Uh, is a thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. Donde hell? Mm, maybe USA. Ah, okay, good. You see, maybe. She's not sure. Entonces, uh -huh. Bono is from the USA. Repeat. Bono is from USA. Isn't he? Isn't he from USA? No, no, no. Yes, do. Uh. Bono is from the United States. Bono de los Estados Unidos. Oh no. Isn't he? Mm -hmm. No, he's not. He is from Ireland. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. All right. That, that's how you do it. Okay. Miguel Franco. Yes, Batistuta. Yes. Batistuta, Miguel Franco. Okay. Give me a tech question with Batistuta. Batistuta, Batistuta is from England, isn't he? Batigol, Batistuta. Batistuta. No, he isn't. He's from Argentina. Okay. Miguel, you don't like soccer, do you? And yes, I like soccer. 
<laughs> okay. Hey, very good. You see my tag question? Me salió natural. Porque él dijo, Batistuta is from England, isn't he? Oh. And, I, and I did this. Miguel, you don't like soccer, do you? You don't like soccer, do you? Yeah, no, Batistuta, remember Batigol? Que por cierto, creo que va a venir yes. o ya vino. Bueno. Or something. Bien, en, la, en, en la Curazao. Oye, oh, yeah, Guadalupe. ¿Usted lo va a conocer, Guadalupe? No, no, no. Oh. Oh. Batistuta is good. Eh, era bueno. All right, good. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Marielos. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> Tell me something about Guadalupe. Guadalupe, uy. <laughs> Guadalupe, this was, this was your first class, wasn't it? Isn't it? Okay, that, that was a very good question, yes. All right, Guadalupe, <laughs> did you understand that? Yes, but not is my first class. It's my first interview. Inter yes. How do you say? Intervenir? Intervenir? It's my first participation. participation. It's my first participation. But, but what? No. No, intervenience. <laughs> okay, intervenience. Intervenience. But you know what, Guadalupe, you have very good fluency. You speak fast. That's good. Mm, thank you. Are you in the office in this moment? Uh, no, I stay in my home, but uh, I don't connect in my cam because my <laughs> my room is red color. Yeah, no, it's... no, it's okay. It's okay. But I remember that um, that uh, you told me that you work a lot. So sometimes, yes, you are in the office. And... Yes, yes, sorry. No, no, it's okay. You are a workaholic like Marielos. <laughs> a Marielos dicen que en vez de pagarle, le cobran alquiler <laughs> en la oficina. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because she works from the office. <laughs> All right, very good. Now, let me see who has not participated. I think everybody has. Well, okay, Kalena. Let me see. Kalena, the famous painter Caravaggio. Uh -huh. Tell me something about him. I can talk about Picasso. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Caravaggio. Uh -huh. uh, he's Mm, no, I don't know who's, who, is, who is Caravaggio. From Italia. Yeah, okay. Caravaggio. Uh, so finish the finish the, the tag question. Um, is, is, no. Caravaggio is not an artist, isn't it? Isn't he? Isn't he? Okay, uh -huh. good. Well, actually, he is. He he was a painter. I think yes. <laughs> no, no. Look, I I don't. I, I mean, I like art, but really, I like I don't really study art. But I remember one time I saw this painting because I I love to take photography. I like I like pictures. And one time I saw this painting, and one thing very difficult in photography is light. Photography at night is very difficult. So one time I was in the in the internet and I saw this painting from the Renaissance. Mm -hmm. And I think it was Jesus. And this painting was so perfect. And it was in the dark and just the reflection on, on, on Jesus. And when I look, I don't know, man, I was, wow, this is so beautiful. So I, I investigated who it was and it was Caravaggio. So I studied a little bit about him and all his paintings, Cavalli, his technique, it was light and shadows. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. But look, look at his paintings. He has las manos perfect. Perfect mm -hmm. hands. Oh, yeah, there you go. Caravaggio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So, Caravaggio was a fa uh, Italian painter, wasn't he? Yes, he was. All right. Marvin. Yes, teacher. Marvin, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the savior, isn't he? All right, good. All right, Jesus Christ is the savior, isn't he? All right, very good. Aunque para usted, Marvin, esa no debería ser una tag question, porque, pero yeah. no, gramaticalmente yeah. la hizo bien. <laughs> okay, yeah, I understand. You, you understand why, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, because you are positive he is the savior. Yeah. So I'm sure you're sure. Yes, exactly. An attack question is when you're not really sure. Yeah. So me encanta como hizo las preguntas Calena porque hasta ponía la cara. <laughs> and good, that is the attack question. Yes. All right. So let me see. Let's do to this listening, let's do this listening exercise and let's pay attention to. Listen to a news report on technology. What is the report about? Check the correct answer. Sports and weather are coming up, but first, here's Health Watch with our medical specialist, Dr. Linda Byrne. Dr. Byrne, there's no question that technological advances in the last decade or two have made our lives easier, but all this technology has its downsides as well, doesn't it? That's right, Peter, especially for those suffering from syndromes caused by the stress of our high-tech lifestyles. And this is a relatively recent development, isn't it? Definitely. Such syndromes were nearly unheard of in 1980, before the growth of the internet and the high-tech industry. Since 1990, however, nearly 300 cases of technology-related stress syndrome were identified. There was a slight drop-off after 1990, but soon the number of cases jumped to three times 1990's rate, which is where it stands today. Could you give us some examples? Well, one of these syndromes is eye strain in which the eyes become red, watery, and itchy. Eye strain is caused by long hours in front of the computer and compounded by long nights playing video games or watching TV without getting much sleep. One treatment that's recommended is to get away for several days and just look at some beautiful natural scenery with no computers. The second is the well-known carpal tunnel syndrome, a very painful condition of the hands and arms caused by the overuse of keyboards and mice. A trained physical therapist can help with a regimen of stretching and strengthening exercises that have brought good results in many cases. So the syndromes are usually physical? There can also be psychological problems. Take, for instance, a third syndrome we informally call gadget addiction. It applies to people who use electronics all day long, nonstop. These people have a deep sense of loneliness whenever they hang up their cell phone or log off the internet. One suggested treatment is to learn to disconnect from the wired world. Leave technology behind for a few hours. Take up a creative hobby or go for a bike ride with friends. Just be sure to leave all the gadgets alone. Thanks, Dr. Byrne. And for more information, go to our website and click on our Health Watch link and then turn off the computer. Yeah, but I don't think people who are addicted to gadgets are lonely people. Everybody's addicted to a gadget. Okay, so number one, a new high-tech high medical treatment. 
new health problems caused by technology or a vacations idea for people who dislike technology? What is number one? New health problems. New health problems caused by technology. New health problems caused by technology. Okay, let's listen to part two. Sports and weather are coming up, but first, here's Health Watch with our medical specialist, Dr. Linda Byrne. Dr. Byrne, there's no question that technological advances in the last decade or two have made our lives easier, but all this technology has its downsides as well, doesn't it? That's right, Peter, especially for those suffering from syndromes caused by the stress of our high-tech lifestyles. And this is a relatively recent development, isn't it? Definitely. Such syndromes were nearly unheard of in 1980, before the growth of the Internet and the high-tech industry. Since 1990, however, nearly 300 cases of technology-related stress syndrome were identified. There was a slight drop-off after 1990, but soon the number of cases jumped to three times 1990's rate, which is where it stands today. Could you give us some examples? Well, one of these syndromes is eye strain in which the eyes become red, watery, and itchy. Eye strain is caused by long hours in front of the computer and compounded by long nights playing video games or watching TV without getting much sleep. One treatment that's recommended is to get away for several days and just look at some beautiful natural scenery with no computers. The second is the well-known carpal tunnel syndrome, a very painful condition of the hands and arms caused by the overuse of keyboards and mice. A trained physical therapist can help with a regimen of stretching and strengthening exercises that have brought good results in many cases. So the syndromes are usually physical? There can also be psychological problems. Take, for instance, a third syndrome we informally call gadget addiction. It applies to people who use electronics all day long, nonstop. These people have a deep sense of loneliness whenever they hang up their cell phone or log off the Internet. One suggested treatment is to learn to disconnect from the wired world. Leave technology behind for a few hours. Take up a creative hobby or go for a bike ride with friends. Just be sure to leave all the gadgets alone. Thanks, Dr. Byrne. And for more information, go to our website and click on our Health Watch link and then turn off the computer. Hey, what is problem number one? Ice, Ice strain. strain. Ice strain. Problem number two? Carpal, Carpal tunnel syndrome. And problem number three? Very good class. I imagine you were going to say gadget addiction. All right, good. Let's do number three. Do you have any, you know, I've never met somebody with a gadget addiction. You know, one interesting thing, I read that in China and Mexico are the two countries that they have rehab, rehabilitation for gamers. For for people that are addicted to games. Yeah. Yes. Oh Let's listen to this. Sports and weather are coming up, but first, here's Health Watch with our medical. Well, it's, it's the same. It's the same audio. So, yeah. what are the symptoms for eye strain? Red, watery, and itchy. Good. What are the Where symptoms? The for... Excuse me? In the hands and arms. What is the meaning of itchy? Look what I'm doing. Picar, picazón. Que pic. <laughs> me estoy dejando todo y nadie me dice nada. No, okay. Itchy, <laughs> like, oh, my head itches. Oh, my. 
itchy. So this is when your eye itches, this is what people do, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, you know, ah, Symptoms for carpal tunnel syndrome, what are those? Pain in the hands and arms. Arms, good. My wife has that in the hands. Symptoms for gadget addiction. Do you have an addiction? Or what you consider to be? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? You know what, Roxana? I think I, honestly, honestly, really, I think I am addicted to coffee, to caffeine. Because um, when I don't drink coffee, I I feel strange. I <laughs> I don't I don't drink soda. I don't. But sometimes, like in the morning, I have to go, and I haven't drunk my coffee. I have this. I go to the store I and buy pain. soda. I had the sensation that I need soda. I need a Coca Cola. So. And, and it's my coffee. If I don't have coffee, I don't feel. <clears throat> I don't feel good. So I think I am addicted to coffee. Mm -hmm. Are you addicted to anything, people? No. I don't think so. Coffee, too. Coffee. But do you drink normal coffee or instant coffee? I like uh, a good coffee, for, for example, um, uh, how do you say in English? Cafe de altura, I don't know. Mountain coffee. Pero cuando se refiere a altura, ¿qué es? Gourmet. Gourmet, yeah. But have you noticed, Roxana, that now, todo dicen gourmet. <laughs> like all the coffees say gourmet, gourmet, gourmet. Yeah. All right. Okay, class. Um, Nuri, I have a question for you. Yes, teacher. How old is that balloon behind you where it says the mm -hmm. <laughs> Ya llevo tres meses viendo ah. eso y no se desinfla. <laughs> That's For the Mother's Day? You had that sense. Mm, it's new teacher. Oh, that's a new one? Oh, okay. Because since, since, since Valentine's Day, I have seen that. Or that's a different one. Oh. My husband gave me um, on February. February. See, I told you, you see, I remember since, since, uh, since Valentine. No, but that's good. That's good quality because look, it's still, it's still full. It's the helium. Yes, yes. Look at this. Yes, it's nice. It's very nice. It's good quality. Okay. All right, class. Then thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a happy night and a good day tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night, everybody. Okay, teacher.